we had some families that would come in to see us for consultations and we discover that some of these kids had gone through cancer and cancer treatment. The hardest part was just the initial diagnosis, just that fear of unknowing what the outcome will be. It broke my heart. Don't cry. Jack was always the biggest kid in school, you know, and he's still, he's almost taller than me now and wears a size 14 shoe. You know, so you see your kid and you're like, how could he be sick, you know, like, so to get that call, you know, that he has cancer and like, how is that even possible? I just couldn't even fathom what that would be like to see your own child hurting that much. It's your daughter and not everything's perfect. Life as we knew it just came to a screeching halt. I remember just thinking, I don't care how much it's going to cost. I will pay for it the rest of my life as long as he gets better. They went through these heartbreaking experiences as families and the medical bills were incredible. And we thought, man, is there any way we can help? And so we decided to come up with this Adopt-A-Shark program. We had a friend that told us about the program and it was just, I mean, such a blessing in which we could provide orthodontic treatment at no cost to these families, so it's just one less thing they have to worry about. You know, braces aren't the cheapest thing in the world, and Jack's teeth definitely needed braces. Where the radiation affected me was my teeth. I don't have many roots on my upper teeth, so they aren't coming in the way they should be. You know, your kid's smile is, it can make other people smile and happy. It's kind of an indication of how they're doing. A lot of these kids are showing their emotion, whatever they're going through, the happy moments, the sad moments, through those facial expressions. The team, about six, seven doctors, they'd always come in and Jack was always the first one in the morning. So we're like, how are we luckiest to be first? We're like, you know what, it's a good question. Jack's always just got this sense about him and he's always got this big smile and he takes everything so well. So we like starting our day on a good note. When he was really sick in the PICU, you know, we didn't see his smile for two weeks. Yeah, they like Jack, so smile. And that smile means everything to these parents that are going through it because my kid's gonna be okay. And so at the end when he recovered and you know we could see that start of a smile again it was just you know brought tears to our eyes. A lot of people ask us why sharks and the reason is because sharks are powerful, sharks are strong, they're fighters. Sharks have an incredible ability to heal from wounds and diseases, and children cancer survivors have done the same. Stay strong. You are strong and you can push through this. Take it step by step. One day at a time, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Really That's what we had to do in some days. It was one hour at a time. When she was two and a half years old, even though she didn't know what was going on, I'll never forget she looked up at me gave me a Kleenex and patted me on the shoulder and said, Mommy, it's going to be okay. And it was. Obviously, we could never have enough to cover every single patient, and we're okay with that, but we do accept donations and we appreciate that. If anyone out there, if they feel compelled to, to give to this program or believe in this in any way, or feel like they could help, every bit helps. 100% of donations go towards this program so we can provide free care for these patients. If people are interested in hearing more about the program or making a donation, we have collinsorthocares.com where they can go on and learn a little bit about the program, why sharks, what the goals are, and how they can get involved to help. People can adopt our sharks. If you adopt a shark, you get a little certificate that says you did. And we have t-shirts that we sell as well, and all of it is donation. So that's really how you can help keep this program alive.